Welcome, Scorpio. We're going to be doing your spiritual energy read and your tarot card read for the month of May. I love doing Scorpio. Um, I have a kid who is a Scorpio, and I'm a Scorpio moon. <clears throat> so I love dealing with this energetic side of the Scorpio. So let's see what we have in store for the month of May for you. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing the Celtic Cross. Your center card is the Four of Pentacles. You are crossed by the Emperor. The foundational energies is the Three of Pentacles. You have a fortune card in the past energies. Six of Pentacles in your crowning. And... <clears throat> The Ten of Cups in the future. How beautiful is that? Okay, so let's dig into the energies and see what the Spirit has to say to us. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's all about the money uh, already. That's what I'm feeling from the Spirit here. Um, it's all about your resources, okay? So what I want to tell you is that you have a foundation that is sufficient, okay? You have two feet to stand on and you have two pentacles to stand on. You have sufficient resources to stand on. Not only that, what's coming in your future is more resources, so you're absolutely fine. So what you're holding so dear and so precious, I feel like um, you don't need to do that. You don't need to hold that so close to you because it is, this is what I want to say. It, it, you are destined to be fine when it comes to resources, whether it be monetary or skills or intellect or spirituality. I just feel like all of your resources are set. Not only do you have them in your past so that you can stand on them in the present, you have them always, always flowing in the future. I feel like this is perpetual um, you don't have to worry about resources, okay? That's what I want to say for May. I think there are some changes going on in May that are making you worry about your resources. I think it's an invalid worry, okay? Okay. Crossing you is the emperor. Um let me read the card because last um, he came up and he had a totally different energy than he normally does. Okay. Emperor. Yeah. Okay. He's literally, um, <laughs> he's got a crown of jewels, you guys. I feel like for any of you watching out there that your resources are super, super rich all the way back through your ancestry. Okay, I he is the energy from your past. And I feel like um, though it may not appear so on the surface, I feel like your ancestry is full of skill um, intuition is what I'm hearing. So even a spiritual um, ancestry, even spiritual knowledge and wisdom, but this also could mean where money was never really an issue. N not necessarily money in particular, but resources. It, you know, something as simple as food and shelter and where you're going to get your next dollar from. That's what this is about. That, that's what you're worrying about. I think you're making some changes and it possibly could be career oriented or job or location so that you have to find a new job and um, you're worried about that. I, I think this is saying it's very solidly cemented is what the spirit is saying in your DNA that 
the resources will appear when you need them. Okay. That it's, it's part of your, literally part of your DNA. Okay. That you, you simply don't have to worry. The resources always come up. And this is because you have a rich history in this area specifically. Okay. I feel like your lineage, your heritage has learned how to master the, the resources when it comes to resources. Whatever comes from the earth, um, stability, security, food, shelter, money, skills. I, I feel like they have been able to master this. And so it's literally programmed into your DNA that you really don't have to worry about where it's going, where it's coming from. Okay. S sweet and simple. Don't worry about your resources. Okay. Okay. Well, this makes tremendous amount of sense. Now that we look at your foundational energies, you have the three of pen pentacles. Um, I feel, I almost feel like there was some agreement or contract or covenant between your um, family and others. I almost feel, oh my goodness, I almost feel like somebody gave up something in order that they would, for generations to come, secure the resources for their generations to come. I almost feel like there was a sacrifice made. And I, th I'm, I think we're talking ancient histories. And maybe that's because we're talking about Scorpio and the deep, dark, you know, the deepest side of things. But I almost feel like this is in your genealogy. That some kind of covenant contract was made. You know how they say, oh, you sell your soul to the devil. Okay, of course, that is not what I'm talking about here. But there was some kind of agreement made um, where somebody gave up something and said, okay, now it will be so that my generations will be secure. Okay, I, I wonder if you're not coming upon some kind of information in, in the month of May that resonates with this. Some kind of agreement that always you would be supported as far as pentacles go. Interesting. I don't know how far back in the past we're talking. If it's recent past or ancient history, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Once again, this is in your past position, the Wheel of Fortune. So are you guys aware of monetary resources that your family has had. Even if, guys, even if you feel like you haven't benefited from the monetary monetary recesses, resources of your ancestors, I feel that the contract was signed in blood. This is the strangest reading ever. It doesn't matter if you physically know of it, understand it, or see it, 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 the contract remains. This is huge. This is, this is like a soul cycle. Could it be that you have made a contract or a, an agreement with others? Okay, because this is recent past, you guys. And I feel like this is a huge karmic thing. I don't think that you took this in detriment. I don't think that you owed something to somebody. I don't think that you were a debtor in all this. I think it's an even Steven exchange. It's, it's completely valid, completely legal is what I'm hearing. Completely legal. So on an energetic level, this was a perfectly fine exchange. Whatever was exchanged in order that you would have the resources that you need, a perfectly valid, perfectly legal exchange. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm thinking that you chose something in this lifetime before you came. 
you said, you know what, I'm going to do this or be this, but in exchange, because it, this is a huge, it's not a sacrifice, is that I feel like the world um, doesn't understand you. And you knew that that would be the case. And so in exchange, you were granted the ability to always have the resources at your fingertips. It was an even exchange. Huge. Wow. This is really, really, really good. Crowning position. Again, pentacles, resources. Wow. You're just filled with them for this May here. Um, okay. This is my card to say that you have wisdom. Okay. This is literal. I see intellect in this. And there's a story in the Bible where the woman sits <clears throat> literally at the feet of Jesus's, like Jesus is eating at the table and the, the woman is begging for the crumbs. And she says, even the dog will sit here and wait for your breadcrumbs because they're so powerful. Your wisdom, your knowledge, your teachings are so powerful. So even the dog knows to sit at your feet to gather up whatever crumbs they can gather. Okay. I, this is when the contract is coming into fulfillment. I feel like it's coming around. I feel like this cycle is now being um, activated is the word the spirit is saying. This cycle is now being activated. So not only do you have the resources to have, you have the resources to give because this, you're sitting at the top of the line. You're sitting at the top of the line. As if your ancestors, right? You're sitting at the top of the lineage that they are putting all of, again, I'm here, I've heard this phrase before, kind of putting all of their eggs in your basket. They're putting all of their eggs in your basket. So whatever contract you had, um, your, your ancestors knew of this also. And I feel like they had similar contracts Okay. And now it's coming, the, the karmic cycle is coming to fulfillment. It is becoming activated now with you. So you're thinking that you're going to have enough and have enough to give to others. You're absolutely correct. In fact, this isn't only money. I believe this is tremendous wisdom because it's ancestral. It's just of the ages is what I'm hearing. Of the ages. So, so, so cool. Wow. This is just a really, really different reading. I love Scorpio. I told you I love Scorpio. Look at this. This is your future. You've, I feel like you've really made a sacrifice in deciding to come in the lineage, in the character, in the persona that you have come forth in at this time. Your character is a catalyst, is the word I'm he hearing, a catalyst for huge change, a catalyst for change. Whatever you decided for yourself in this lifetime, it is causing change um, in, in the world, in people around you, and it, it's some type of a giving on your part, some type of an oddity on your part, an oddity. And in exchange for that, the Spirit said, yep, we're going to provide you with this because you have to kind of sacrifice or suffer these oddities. It was a good contract. You did the right thing. 
because it's going to gain you everything that everybody in your heritage has ever wanted in the end. Freedom, peace, harmony, joy. Children, whether they be spiritual or physical, meaning that your children here sit at your feet is what they do. It, it doesn't necessarily mean coming out of your loins, children. It is the children that you are affecting by your wisdom and by your resources, the people that you are affecting. Okay, they are learning from you. I see you as being a master here. A master of your trade, says the Spirit. Okay? And it was worth, it was worth that oddity, that sacrifice for you. Ten of Cups. Amazing. Wow. Amazing, amazing reading. We're going to do four more from the tarot. <clears throat> it's this one. <laughs> this is you. You've been able to be the alchemist. You've been able to change every oddity. So this has been in your generations, and I feel like they've all been, they've all decided to forge forward with a bit of strangeness. You know, somebody that we look at in the physical world and say, oh, they're different, you know, something like that. I believe this has been coming, and you've been able to take all of that energy. You know, some were not as successful as you, and that's because the world was not ready for them. That's all it was. The world wasn't ready for those oddities. Now, in this karmic cycle, now the world is finally ready to receive you in fullness. And you're taking all of that energy from the past, whether it was fa a failure in the past or not. And you are changing it, transforming it as the alchemist. You carry all four elements here. You've got all four of them. At your fingertips, you are a master because of the sacrifice of your lineage. And in exchange, you get all the resources. You get all the resources in exchange. You suffered these things and sacrificed these things long enough. That's exactly what you did. Okay, so in your environment, what was I just saying? This is how people viewed you. This is, they kind of would stab you in the back. Oh, oh yeah, okay. And then turn around and talk about you behind your back because of your oddities. Okay, that's what this energy means to me. That's what this is saying. This has been your environment. You've suffered a lot, you guys. You've suffered a lot. And why is it? It's a miscommunication. People simply didn't know. They simply didn't. This is what I'm hearing. They simply didn't know that you were born with these oddities and that these oddities are actually a tremendous gift. They're spiritual gifts. They are gifts from heaven. They are angelic gifts. And people looked at them as dark because you're Scorpio. They looked at them as dark, negative, weird, strange, and odd. They talked about you behind your back. They did this to your ancestors. Your ancestors were never really able to have the power that you are going to be able to have because the karmic cycle is being activated now. The covenant and the agreement is being activated now. They're finally going to recognize you for what you are. Super powerful. Super intelligent. Super resourceful person. Okay? This is all I can say about this one. This is your sign, you guys, Scorpio. Um, this is how you've looked. <laughs> I feel like you don't mind. I feel like you're laughing at it. I feel like you don't mind at all. In fact, you you revel in it. You you enjoy it. You don't mind the darkness, the mystery 
all that surrounds you or how people look at you. And maybe that's why the karmic cycle can be activated now. You finally learned. You know who you are. You stand strong in who you are. You don't care what it looks like on the outside, okay? This, this is what that means. You don't even mind it. <laughs> I think this is so funny. I think that... I think that you have tremendous humor when it comes to this, okay? Um, that you can only bind people, like these people here, they're bound in chains, because they think you can bind them. You, you know all along you're not binding anybody. I think you're just laughing at this. I think this is totally, truly a trick uh, of the magician, okay? People think that you can bind them. And you know that the, the binding, the bondage is only in their own minds. Something like that. It, it, it's really humorous. I love this. This is really endearing. This is endearing. Once again, you guys, you have the pinnacle right here at his crown. That's what it means. You've got the resources and the wisdom. Always, always, that was part of your contract. You've always had that at your disposal. And it's because of the oddity and the character that you look like on the outside. I love this. This is like the best reading ever. Okay. So this is your future. Um, I feel like you're doing fine just doing what you do. I do feel like because of this, there is a tremendous gift being offered to you here that you can take. Um, I think either way, I think either way you're fine without it because you do have three full cups here. That's all I'm going to say about this card right now. These are full. So I don't feel like th this is what it is. The universe is saying, um, you literally can have whatever you want to have. Do you, do you want this? You can have it if you want it. You can have whatever you want to have. This is huge. This is um, this is what you have to look forward to, okay? So no matter what it appears like now, I feel like there is a little bit of a um, a little bit of a struggle in seeing in seeing this. But I do believe that deep, deep down you know that you're absolutely fine. The surface is conflicting. I see friction between the internal and the external, between the um, spiritual and the physical. I think you have such a strong foundation in, in the spiritual and the internal that you know you're going to be fine. I think right now it's a little bit hard to see, but know that the contract's already signed. It's already signed, okay? This is what you're thinking about. This is absolutely you. This is absolutely you. This, this is what you want to do. This is what you can do, okay? This is an awesome, awesome reading. Um, very unique, and I hope it resonates because... Because the Spirit's speaking. And so you can look at these, you guys, and it should be resonating with you, okay? If you're Scorpio Sun or Scorpio Rising, okay? So thank you for watching. Oh, wait, we have to do the, your key. Um, this is running long. Let's do the key. I like to do the Native Heart Healing Oracle. Just give you one card here for what I feel like the spirit wants you to see in all of this, okay? It's this one. <laughs> it's self-mastery. It's this. It's self-mastery. This is the master. He's the master. And the people sit at his feet waiting for his teaching, waiting for his knowledge, waiting for his information and wisdom and resources and skills and all of that. Self-mastery. This is your key. This is your key. You are a pro at 
this. You know yourself. You know yourself. And whether it be a recent discovery or not, um, you, you, you do know yourself now. Okay. And I think you recognize that this is a karmic thing. It's, um, it's deep, deep, deep in your DNA is what I want to say. Okay. Self-mastery. You've got it, Scorpio. This is awesome. Okay. So just a confirmation. Everything's under control. Okay. We will see you in June for your next reading. Thanks for watching.